Hello, National Honor Society members. A quick end of the year video to make sure that you are, are good to go with service hours for the, both the fourth quarter for our returning members and to start the year next year because things are changing a little bit. So these are a couple of quick reminders about everything you're getting in this email today. Fourth quarter service hours. Reminder, NHS members who were inducted back in October and have been NHS members all year are still obligated to submit service hours for quarter four. Those of you who just got inducted in May, your obligations don't start, your membership doesn't officially start until next year. How many hours do you need if you're a current NHS member for the fourth quarter? You still need three. Three has been the magic number all year. When? That has to be in Debella by Friday afternoon, June 11th. The forms are on the school website under NHS. If you go under, I think it's clubs, looking for National Honor Society, you'll find the form on the left side. If you need a hard copy and you're in the building, I'm in 228, come get them. And finally, I've gotten this question a lot, as has Bella over the last couple of days. Can I just roll them over to next year? No, we that, that, unfortunately, we've been able to do that for you all year, but the NHS bylaws say that service has to be calculated within a school year, which means you can't roll over hours from one school year to the next. You can roll over hours from one quarter to the next within the same school year. So we've let you roll over your second quarter hours to third. You cannot roll over fourth quarter to first. So um, that they have to be in. So let's talk about uh, I don't think I have enough. Oh no, what do I do? Am I in trouble? Well, we can get you out of that really quick. There's a couple of options. You can complete some Lead with Love projects. You're getting the template in this email. I'm gonna walk you through kind of a little bit more about how to do that. You can get one hour per every poster you make. So if you have absolutely no hours for the fourth quarter, then you can do three Lead with Love projects and be good to go. Or you can utilize, though I wouldn't recommend it because it could be very easy to forget, um, the two week grace period, which allows you to go out and perform some community service at a place that you feel good that you trust. Remember, it cannot be a place you're getting paid. It can't be a place you're getting trained for a job. It can't be babysitting or raking leads or stuff for the people in your neighborhood. Um, it has to be with an affiliated organization that is not attached to the school where you're not getting paid. Remember, it also can't be something where it's a gym or a golf club where people have to pay to come there. Um, but you can still hurry up and get some community service done in those two weeks and get that off to Bella in the grace period. Um, what if I don't? Uh, hopefully you're not in that boat, but what if I don't have anything sent in by this Friday and I, I forget to do Lead with Love projects and I don't get the two week grace period? You, all, you will get the letter that all NHS members get from their schools in July saying that you're starting your school year on the probationary period. What does that mean? That means that you're not a full fledged NHS member, which means that you're probably going to have some additional service requirements and things you're going to have to do along with keeping your grades up to maintain your membership. And if those things aren't fulfilled by the end of quarter one, your membership gets revoked at the start of quarter two. You don't want to be in that boat. We don't want anybody in that boat. So please get your service hours in to Bella or utilize the, the, the Lead with Love projects that we're going to talk about more in a second or at the very last worst case scenario, if you have something set up that you know you can get in and volunteer before the 25th of June, get in and do that and get three hours. All right, so let's talk about Lead with Love projects because that's gonna be the easiest way to get yourself these fourth quarter hours if you don't have anything so far. The purpose of the Lead with Love program, which we're rolling out for next year, is to highlight the stories of inspirational Americans who come from underrepresented groups. I would not be an underrepresented group. I'm a middle-class Christian white man. Uh, my group's pretty well represented. History has remembered us quite fondly. Um, so what you're looking to do is, is to uh, do some research on some Americans who've made contributions whose stories are often not taught in the curriculum. So as you see at the bottom, people like Martin Luther King, George Washington, Oprah, Steve Jobs, everybody knows who these people are. Their stories get talked about all the time in school curriculums and television and um, on the internet. We, we, we want to highlight people uh, who oftentimes many people have never heard anything about to engage them to kind of open their minds up a little bit to some of the different contributions of different people. You can earn up to one hour per project, uh, but just please make sure, because we're going to do it as well when you send it to us, but that you're fact checking, that you're not just getting all these facts about people from random blogs and things like that online. Uh, so to give you an example, the template that you're getting in your email features Ellen Ochoa, who was the first Hispanic woman to travel into space. Um, so, so you can imagine that you see there's some of the challenges and obstacles she faces being one of the earliest women in the STEM program. Uh, this is a person who's, who's had some pretty fascinating accomplishments who I know as a history teacher, there's nothing in our curriculum about Ellen Ochoa. There's very little on television about her, um, but, but a woman with some remarkable accomplishments who's still living. You, can, you don't have to always do people who are still living. You can do people who've passed on, that's fine. 
This just happens to be a template of a person who's still living. You've got this exact template coming in your email. So don't recreate the wheel. We actually want our posters to all kind of have a similar format because next year the NHS is purchasing glass displays that we're going to have up in the social studies area that will be a kind of kind of catch people's eyes and let them read about some of these. So we want to have some kind of uniformity um, to our posters. So use the template. Uh, and, and when you're researching your new person, you can type right over top of Ellen Ochoa's name. You can type your facts. Don't change the headings, change challenges and obstacles, biography, keep the headings there. Just put in the information that applies to your person. So we've also saved you time because you don't have to think about how to format your poster. The format's already ready. All it needs is you to go find some interesting people and fill their information in. So you can get this template in your email. We're also gonna post it on the NHS page of the school website so that you can get to it there if you can't find your email over the summer. Um, so that's what's going on with that. Uh, posters that we need the most of, which you can also do if you're a new member to get summer hours for first quarter next year. Um, we're specifically right now in need of posters to highlight Hispanic American contributions, Americans with disabilities in the workplace, American Indian or Native Americans, or Italian Americans. Um, any of those posters you complete over the summer, you're, you're going to email those to either or Kylie Johnson or Sanaya Wiggins, who are the committee chair people for the Lead with Love Committee. And then I'm asking that you, you copy me on it um, just so we can get some, some, so that we're in the know, we know what's going on. So those are ways that you can either in the next couple weeks get your three hours for the fourth quarter if you're a current member, or any members can do these to try to get some hours towards the first quarter of next school year. Coming soon, um, Bella is also putting together a, a bulletin that's gonna give you a list of local places, local charity places that are actually taking volunteers this summer. Um, we'll put that out, we'll publish that, we'll email that to you and put it on the website and on social media. So if you're looking for some great opportunities to get involved in the community and earn service hours, we're gonna give you updated bulletins every month next year. It's a new thing we're doing next year so that if you're like, Broadly, Larson, I, I just don't know where to go to volunteer. No one's taking anybody. The COVID protocols are tough. Bella's doing a lot of the groundwork and helping give you a, a list of places that have said, yes, we need people. Um, so really there should be no reason why you can't find anything for service next year. Uh, enjoy your summer, but please continue again to seek out opportunities to give back. Remember next year, we're going back to normal. It's gonna be five service hours per quarter. So keep that in mind. If you wanna go ahead and get those five hours done during the summer. I've had this question too. Can I just go ahead and do the whole year? Uh, can I do 20 or more hours? That's great that you're going to do that many hours, but you can only count what you do in the summer towards first quarter. You will not be able to count what you do in the summer towards any other quarters next year. Um, one of the things that the National Honor Society at the national level is big on is that you're giving back throughout the year. Um, and it's not just something that you're doing just because you have time in the summer. That's great. Uh, trust me, I have more time in the summer too, but that's not totally the spirit of, of what we want to be doing, especially considering second quarter is during the holiday season when people need us to give back the most. So that's what's going on uh, for service hours going into next year. Finally, attached to your email is also the spreadsheet. Thank you to Danielle Lambert, who spent a lot of hours taking in all your guys' requests and trying to place you in the committees that, that were at least something in your top four or five. Uh, we try to give everybody something in their top four or five so that you were doing something that you at least have a little bit of interest in, maybe totally a lot of interest in. Thank you to the people who stepped up to take committee chairperson roles in those. We're gonna really appreciate your leadership next fall and throughout the year. Please verify which committee you're in. Take a look, see where you're at. Um, if there's a conflict, let us know as soon as possible um, because you, you are, once the school year starts, you're gonna be expected to be checking in with your committee chairs, making sure they're gonna be sending out emails, letting you know when the meetings are, what you're obligated to do. Uh, Ms. Larson and I have to check off the box when you get your diploma with the gold emblem on it for NHS that you actually met and did what your committee chairs asked of you to do. Um, that's part of the leadership pillar of NHS. So make sure that you have service, which is stuff you're doing outside of school and leadership, which is what you're doing with these committees inside of school. On top of all else too, please make sure you're keeping track of your grades. I'm hearing some scary stories that there are gonna be some folks who may fall behind, but below that 3.5 after fourth quarter grades come in. I hope not. Check with your teachers, get that up because you would also be somebody getting a letter over the summer saying your grade point average has fallen below the minimum threshold, which also puts you on probation in the first quarter of next year. So. You don't want to be in that boat either. With that, a lot of information for you. Please feel free to email myself or Mrs. Larson with questions, but we want you to have a great summer. We know how challenging of a year this has been with, with back and forth from virtual to in the building and hybrid and everything else. 
And we look forward to seeing all of you guys back in the building in the fall where we can really start getting to work on helping our community, uh, bettering our school and bettering uh, the greater Bel Air area. Take care, everybody. And again, we, we appreciate you and let us know what questions you have.